Nuts and Bolts with Tone here, guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a review of a scan tool we're going to try out. This is a King Bolin K7 scan tool. Let's check out what comes in the box. Has a nice carrying case. Going to open it up. I've already opened it up because you have to set it up. So you got an instruction manual. You've got your uh, your secure your password card here with the serial number and model number to set it up. And then we've got the scan tool here. Uh, let's take an initial look at this thing. So here's what it is. It's got a nice rugged grip. Uh, what I like about it now, this would only work if you're left-handed. If you're right-handed, uh, it may not work as well for you. But anyways, so you can see that this side over here is raised and it gives a nice place to hold on to. So I have a really nice hold on this scan tool and then I can operate it with this hand. So we've got the power button right there and right here is where we can hook up to plug it in. So what it comes with is we've got the dongle, we've got a cord to charge it, we've got the plug. These are different adapters for uh, if you live in different areas, you may require something different than just a regular uh, uh, normal plug. But anyways, you got the plug here. All right, let's go check it out in the car. So here it is turning on. Kind of nice little graphics. And there's the initial screen. And so from here, you're going to be able to go in and automatically search and it's going to pull up the vehicle so here it pulled up a g37 and we're going to go in and we're going to do a system scan now system scan is just going to pull up all the modules and tell you what modules it has and what modules it does not have this is not going to tell you what kind of codes you have so here in live data you can see battery voltage fluctuating back and forth so you can hit this button right here. It's going to graph battery voltage. And it's going to kind of just give us a little graph just showing us the, the voltage fluctuation. Let's see how... Let's look at the response um, on the graph. Okay. That's a nice distinct pattern, I like that. All right, so here we go. So I picked a realistic one that you would wanna scope. So what I did was I went into data and I selected all signals and I hit combine. And I picked coolant temp and uh, cooling fan duty cycle. So right now, obviously the, uh, the coolant's not high enough for the fan to come on. So the coolant's sitting at like uh, less than 200, maybe like 175 degrees. And you can see the duty cycle of the fan is approximately like 60, maybe 70%. And so I got that going so you can see the fan. Now this would be really important if you have an overheat condition. You would let it run and you would watch your coolant rise. Your coolant temperature would rise. And as your coolant temperature rose to a certain, to a certain temperature, what I like to do is once the coolant temp is rising and it gets to a certain point you want to see this fan kick on and then you can see how much the fan kicks on so let's say this temp is rising and rising and rising and we're at 250 you want to see this cooling fan at a hundred percent duty cycle showing it's trying to bring it down so then you can see what a good cooling system would do is as the temp went up the fan would kick on if the temp didn't kick didn't if the temp didn't come down, then the fan would go up higher and higher until the coolant temp started to come down or you knew you had a problem. So one really big benefit to combining data on a gasoline vehicle. On a diesel, it'd be really important to combine fuel rail actual and fuel rail desired fuel pressure. Now let's look at uh, actuation test. So actuation test, it gives us a power balance. Let's see what the power balance looks like. We'll click monitoring data. Like I said, I have not done this yet. We're gonna click all and okay. I'm trying to do this through the scan tool. It's really difficult to uh, do that. So it looks like we can uh, kill injectors over here maybe. Oh, there we go. 
All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can definitely feel that. I like that it gives me all the injectors up here. So we've got a lot of functions. We've got coolant temp, we've got fuel injection, we've got purge, fuel pump relay, fan duty cycle. All right, so in the special functions, we've got idle air volume learn, EVAP system close. You can close the vent valve, fuel pressure release. VIN registration, misfire counter, O2s, you can look at codes, that's pretty cool. So here's what I should have done in the beginning, I clicked health report and as you can see here, this is what I thought I was looking for. This has got all the codes, this is just like when you hook up a launch or whatever, it's going to automatically scan it and it's gonna tell you. So it brings up all the modules that have codes first. So the engine's got one, the ABS has got one, the BCMS 13, uh, one in the transmission. So I'm assuming uh, the one in the engine is a battery sensor code. Let's see if it, let's see if it'll give me just the code without having to enter the computer. I believe it's entering the computer. Okay, so that's nice. So if you hit the, this arrow right here, it enters the computer. If you hit that arrow, it's gonna show you the, the, the codes. So let's go ahead and get rid of that code. And now let's see what 13 codes are in the BCM. All right, so we've got CAN communication vehicle, speed, voltage, shift positions. All right, a whole bunch of TPMS codes. Let's see what's in the transmission. This one, transmissions are always uh, throttle position sensor. Oh, okay, so it looks like we've cleared that code from the PCM, but not the, uh, but not the transmission. All right. So kind of nice. It's got all the abilities. So let's go to, we'll just go into the BCM and we'll see what kind of functions we so here we are in the BCM and you can see all the different functions. We've got buzzer, wiper, the trunk, the lights. Uh, we can look at so many different things. We can go into special functions. Now you can go in here and you can actually ch make setting changes in the vehicle. All right, so now we're out of the BCM. We're gonna go ahead and just clear all the codes so I don't forget. This is my son's car, so I wanna just make sure everything's cleared. That's good, all the code's cleared. I kind of like this uh, function here that a lot of these aftermarket scan tools are giving you that you, you don't get this from Snap-on. Uh, you can go to common service functions, you can go to the oil life reset. Uh, if you had a brake pad uh, warning, you could replace the brake pad, you could reset the brake pad. You can do a battery match. In some vehicles you have to um, program the battery. You can, re you can uh, bleed the ABS. Uh, if this is a diesel, you could do a regen from here. You could do injector coding, where you could enter the QA codes for diesel injectors. Uh, you don't have to do that on the gasoline, but on the diesels you have to. Throttle valve learning, steering angle reset. Uh, we had a Prius in the shop one time, and we had we had to set the steering angle, and the Snap-on scanner would not do it, and we had to use aftermarket scan tools to even find that function. Uh, we got it done. So uh, you can do level calibration, seat calibration, window calibration, EGR self-learning. Now this is not every car has these functions, but it is, you have the ability. So let's just do power balance. Let's go in there and see what's gonna happen with through this special function. We already know what it looks like when we go into the engine and do power balance. Let's see what it looks like when we go into power balance from common special functions. Oh, look at that. We are right there. 
Bam. Okay. So it took us right to power balance. All right. So we're not. We've already. We've already went in here and killed an injector. So not going to be messing with that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? All right. So uh, now this is interesting. Uh, if you see that right there, GPF. You might think to yourself. You might think to yourself, GPF. Well, tell them that's not a diesel. Diesels have DPFs. It's a particulate filter to remove soot. Well, guess what? Starting in 24, gasoline vehicles are gonna have GPFs, gasoline particulate filters. So it'll be one more thing to get added to the gasoline system exhaust. And when that time comes, you can use this scan tool right here. They're already on top of everything. They've already got the function there. You can do gear learning. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff. Now this is what the common, uh, with the common functions button, right there. Common special functions. If you have, it, so here we are at the beginning. Let's say you're hooking up to a car and. You want to go find a car that you looked at the other day. Boom, you hit that right there. It's going to pull it up. You don't have to go and reinitialize the car. And so here you can go on in the OBD. You can go in the generic OBD side. Let's say you want to look at, uh, you can look at codes here. Sometimes codes show up in generic side that aren't in the manufacturer side or they're different. Or let's say you have a Mercedes it'll give you a much simpler code description in generic versus going into the manufacturer. So here we're gonna go in there we're, and we're just gonna look at readiness monitors for instance. In California, in 2000 and newer vehicles, all readiness monitors have to be run except for EVAP. EVAP is the only one that does not have to be run. Now I'm gonna click ready status and look at that and I was a little bit confused because the cat monitor wasn't ready and my son just smogged his car. And it didn't dawn on me until I was editing the video that I cleared the codes in all the computers. And when you clear the codes in all the computers, all the monitors reset. So you can also from this home screen, you can also go into reset. And from here, we can do a lot of functions. We can bleed the brakes. Uh, we can mess with the automatic, uh, with the AFS, we can do airbags, we can mess with the AdBlue system, uh, this doesn't have any of that, uh, DPF, EGR, a mobilizer, gearbox, injectors, knock sensors, seat, you could, you could reset the oil light, TPMS, and windows. Now this is all just from the regular screen here. So I'm pretty impressed. This uh, I think it's like a $450 scan tool, and I believe you can get a coupon. You can click it, uh, maybe get a little bit off. Uh, it's King Bolin, it's K7. Uh, it's a pretty good scan tool. I like it. I love the feel of it. It's got a very nice light weight to it. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be a great addition if you don't want to spend a ton of money, you don't want to break the bank and go and invest in a you know super expensive scan tool. Uh, this one's gonna get it done. So thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, hit the bell, you get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. Thanks for watching. See you next time.